your enemy to whom you see today you will not see no more forever you will never ever 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 see no more forever your Lord fight for you Exodus 14 chapter 13 the 14 you have hidden by the cross your enemy cannot find you. Oh, hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, my, 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 Lord. Oh. Yeah, we got the victory. Okay, I am continually preaching the series. Uh, a part two, Middle East Chaos. What's happening? The, why are they fighting. Okay. I want to open the Bible. And, uh, Genesis 16, 12. Yes, we sh should understand this passage in this time. He will be wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone and everyone's hand against him. And he will live in hostility toward all his brothers. Oh, my, my, my. Listen, my brother and sister. This prophecy has been fulfilled on, on September 11, 2001. You know, terrorist and attacked twin building in New York City. Pentagon was the DC. And plane crashed that Uh, it happened in Pennsylvania by hijack. Listen. Okay, look at the, uh, the scripture. Who is he? He is uh, Ishmael. Who? Son of Abraham, brother of Isaac, also son of Hagar, who made a servant of Sarah. So He will be wise unto to man. His hand will be against everyone. What that mean? As you remember, in 9-11 event, more than 3,000 people were killed. Casualty were more than 3,000. Their nationality were my 
multiply the nation more than 30 nations. You know that. So, his hand, terrorist, who, you know, 19 terrorists uh, came from Saudi Arabia. Uh, I cannot organization. Also, I believe. The, you know, oh, I, I, let me tell you. You should know that the lineage of the family line, the descendants of uh, the, uh, the, the Ishmael is Saudi Arabia, and the descendants uh, of uh, of Hagrid is Syria. Who is Hagrid? Hagrid is the, the, the family of the Hagar who made servant of uh, 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 Sarah. And uh, the uh, descendant of, of and Adam, which is Esau, is uh, Turkey. And the uh, descendant of uh, in the Hobor is Lebanon. Descendant of Ammon Moa, which is uh, was a shameful relationship with his father, is. Jordan. Oh, oh right. let me tell you. Now the Jordan attacked ISIS a few days ago because of retaliation of ISIS who killed the Jordan's pilot. Oh, that's, that's, that's so good. Jordan is doing very good. Okay, and the descendant of uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the blessed is uh, Palestine, Hamas, terrorist. One more, descendant of uh, Assyria is uh, Russia. Yeah, um, uh, a theologian and historian, archaeologist have agreed that the descendants of Assyria is Germany. Okay. So what happened after 9-11? And many nations which united more than 80 nations nation, attack the IRA in 2013. I still remember uh, March 20. The Wednesday, PM seven o'clock, and in Bush administration, mighty pride of United Nation gathered together 
the start of the attack either for the retaliation of the terrorist. Okay, so look at the, the scripture. Everyone's hand against him. Who? Ishmael. Descendant Ishmael. And he will live in hospitality toward all his brothers. Look at the, the Middle East. They killed other brothers. Muri killed uh, the, the Suri killed Shia. Shia killed Sunni. Other sect of the Muslim killed the other sect of the Muslim. We see every day. This is scripture is being fulfilled today. Think about it. This passage is available now. Oh. The main reason for today conflict between the Arab world and western is uh, that Arab people will remember that they once had a great empire but it decayed and destroyed collapsed long time ago as we see their world view is powerfully shaped uh, by their holy book Quran which tells them and Muslim destined to rule over the other nations. Surah 61 9 says, It is Allah who has sent for his apostle Muhammad with guidance and the true faith in Islam. So that the, he may exalt above all religions. This great gap between the promise of the Quran and the reality of the Muslim world create a great deal of humiliation and resentment. They feel angry when they look at the Western world. They feel Jealousy. When look at the America. Yes. They you know, the Western world today enjoying such a material success while Arab civilization had declined in comparison by virtually every 
key major in every realm, every field. It cannot be compared to Western world. You know, as you see, it cannot be compared to America. That will be angry. In the mind of many Muslims, Western power like uh, the United States must be brought down so that Islam will be vindicated and uh, Muslim may attain their goal and uh, their right full place as a ruler of the world that they want to be the established and Islam world, Islam empire in this world. Listen, my brother and sister. This is here is evidence of what I said. This is why, you know, after ten attacks on the United States 9 11 2001, all cities across the Arab world were filled with joyous peoples celebrating the fact that America had been struck such a devastating blow. I still remember they I think you know that. They joy and rejoice and chant and dancing on the street in September 9-11. This is why I tell you another thing. Some Islamic Leader speak of America as a great Satan. British is Israel is little Satan. You know, Amagenija, who former president Ira, he used to said. I mean, case big set, Israel is small set. Israel should be destroyed. Yeah, you remember? I remember. This guy is a curse against America and the Israel. In their view, these nations, America, British, Israel, are tools of the devil preventing Islam from attaining its rightful destiny and the world rule, world ruling world. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. How do I speak like that? 
how did we get to this point that much of the world and nearly all of the Middle East, as we see every day TV, are chaos. It's being devastation situation. Terrible, terrible, like a hell. Killing each other, blood shedding. Seen, we will see it every day. What's going on? I never seen it before. It's all we have seen it due to the Islam. 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 That is a problem, Islam. Why are Muslims killing so many other Muslims in their own world? They they consider more moderate Muslim or Muslim of other sect. And in further, who must be converted of faith to death so that they believe pure Islam and they define it can be divided and spread all over the world. This also goes for Muslim ruled government throughout the region where listen fundamentalist groups are determined to topple rulers. So they can convert the nation to their vision of Islam. They are thinking and they are view all who against them are apostate and Western nations are evil countries that should be destroyed by the Quran they believe. Okay. What does it all mean? And the most simple and profound. Islam is awakening from its long slumber and beginning its third wave of expansion. I think third wave of expansion. What does that mean? And with the fourth two waves that started in 600th century and 1200th century, this resurgence is created violence, the war, instability, and all it board of country. Now, third great wave expansion is had already started in 2011. It is 
Arab speaking event that you know in the in the Egypt, Libya were overthrown by fundamental Islamist edge and Tunisia. Now the flame of these third revival expansion by Islam is going to all over the world as a way of Middle East by the violence, by the killing people, each other. That we are seeing every day this chaos on TV. Okay, my time is up. So I, I, I'm going to preach in continually this series next week. Stay tuned. And next sermon, I'm going to approach the Jerusalem, which the well, very, very important place of Christian, all other religion people. That is the climax of the my sermon in this region. <clears throat> Don't forget. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. God loves you.